Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine Dalajani. I'll be discussing albuterol and the pregnancy and pediatric considerations. The generic name is albuterol or salbutamol. Trade names include Proventil, Ventolin, Proair, and Vospire. Availability is in tablet form, MDA or meter dosed aerosol, and powder for inhalation. The pharmaceutical class is adrenergic and therapeutic class is bronchodilators. The pregnancy category is category C which means that the pregnancy, breastfeeding, and teratogen effects have not been adequately studied. Therefore, the drug should be given only if benefit to the mother outweighs the risk to the fetus. This medication crosses the placenta, has been found in breast milk, and may hinder uterine contractions. Some side effects include nausea, tremors, hypertension, throat dryness, and heartburn, and rarely diarrhea, drowsiness, diaphoresis, and can cause maternal and fetal tachycardia and hyperglycemia. Albuterol should not be withheld because of pregnancy, but excessive usage should be avoided. Safety has not been established for children under 5 years of age. This is because their organ systems are very immature and young patients are highly susceptible to adverse drug reactions. For instance, the blood-brain barrier is not fully developed at birth. Therefore, neonates are especially sensitive to drugs that affect the central nervous system. When they do have adverse drug reactions, it's typically very intense and prolonged. Initial pediatric doses are an approximation. It's very important for nurses to understand that to ensure optimal dosing, doses must be adjusted on the basis of therapeutic outcome, adverse responses, and plasma drug levels. Because these patients are so young, they're vulnerable to effects related to organ system immaturity, and if you give them too high of doses, their growth and development can be affected. Adverse side effects include mood changes, allergic reactions, bronchospasms, hypertension, tachycardia. Other more common side effects include muscle tremors, polyuria, polydipsia, dizziness, headaches, dry mouth, and sore throat. It's very important for nurses to teach effective education to these patients for both a pregnant woman and a child. Achieving accurate and timely dosing requires informed participation and active involvement of both the child and the caregiver. Effective education is key. Thank you guys so much. Here are my references.